Hi and welcome to my channel. So today we are continuing our series. So we want to start to set up our cars. So before I start the tutorial, I want to say thank you to everybody that support me. And if you want to support me, you can go to my Patreon page. Depending on your subscription, you're gonna have exclusive videos or access to my videos before they are published. For example, the next part of this tutorial. And also you can have all the project files from my tutorials. And you can have access to early access to my personal project and I can uh, help you to fix bugs in your games. Um, I can create for you uh, exclusive um, animation, blueprint, anything like that. And also create from the scratch a game if you want. If you want to talk with me directly, you can go to my Discord channel. So if you have some problem in your project or you have some error in the tutorials, you can write me from here. So for me, it's more, it's more easy to respond from the Discord. So if you want to send me your game, so everybody they can see that in the YouTube channel for free, you only have to fill this uh, form. You have to put your name, your email, and what you want to do with your project and game. Also, you can write me from here to what you want to know, you only put it in the comments. All these three, they're gonna be in the description of the video. So thank you and let's start the tutorial. So before I start the tutorial, uh, I want uh, you, if you notice, I have uh, two projects already open <laughs> because I want to show you something later. So first, we want to go to our projects. If you go play already, the guys falling from the sky. <laughs> so that's because we don't have the project star. So let's put some project star for now. So if I press play now, they don't fall in for the sky. So that is working. So now we can play uh, perfectly fine. So also they're working on multiplier. So they're gonna be click here. Number of players set two, and the name of play like as client go play. And they're really working fine. They replicate. I don't know why they go the another. Okay, so. Let's change this. I don't know why they change this. Okay. <laughs> so now they play. And you can see they work in Pepper Fine for the two players. They can see us perfectly. So let's do that. So now we are playing this. So we need, need our cars. They're going to be city sample vehicles. If you can download absolutely for free from the marketplace or the real, they are already here from the Epic. So they're gonna have the name is City Sample Vehicles. They're gonna have all the cars you need, vans, and also some trucks, police car, and taxi car, and some big trucks too, like trailers, things like that. And the trash uh, maker, things like that. So that's perfect. We need all we need. So that's absolutely for free, but they're only working for Unreal Engine 5. So if you are still doing this tutorial for Unreal Engine 4, it's better to download the cars I show you on in the last uh, in a few video before. So when I ask, I, I'm working from the GTA from Unreal Engine 4. So this is gonna be that. So download that. I really download this. So when you download this, when you open your project, they're gonna say you need to um, enable some plugins. So you say gonna say yes to both or say activate. I don't remember the name right, right now. One is from Chaos uh, plugin, and the other one is something like Advanced Inputs or something like that. I don't remember the name, but they're gonna be two. So you are gonna be say yes. So if you check the car, city sample vehicles. If you go, for example, the band, the first we have. If we open it, we're gonna open full blueprint editor. And here, if we go to viewport you check what we have, you're gonna see they have some brake pad, brake pad, and also all trans. Uh, the first, I don't know what it did is, but if you delete this, you wanna see the, is the, the windows. So they wanna be all the windows for the car, so that's perfect. But if you check the frame, they wanna be all full frame. That's okay for this tutorial because you can still up, uh, enter and uh, exit the car. But if you notice, there's only a uh, one piece of mesh. So that's not the best, but at least they wanna work perfectly fine. If you want something more professional, we can have this one. Like I told you, that's why I opened two one, 
Because in the city sample, if we go to vehicle, we can see, let's go to the first one, there is the van, it's the, the same van we have, we can open both. So if we open it, okay, so go to viewport, now we have more stuff here. If you check here, we have different mesh depending on the part of your car. That's perfect for animation because if I go to open the, the door, we can open it from different part of the car and we can go to inside, anything like that. Also, we can uh, move the windows, things like that, so that is really amazing. So we can make better um, game with this um, part. But for whatever reason, <laughs> when I make migrate all this stuff, they give me some error. For example, if you go here, right click, because I don't want to all this stuff, only the vehicle. Vehicle. So if you go to migrate, they want to take a few time to allow that but for whatever reason when I migrate they give me some errors I don't know I don't know if this is because the chaos or something like that or some plugins is already in beta or in beta I don't know maybe it's still working in it so it's not working perfectly fine and also if you just check here the current recommendation spec for me this fine well there's all this stuff here but when I say okay, they give me some error, so I wanna say cancel. But from here, the 12 core for me is perfect because I have more than that. The G4 2080, I have more than that, so it's perfect. And at least A, I have more than that, so it's perfect. But I don't have 64 gigabyte RAM. I have 32, so I don't know if that is the issue. I don't believe so, but for whatever reason, like I said, when I migrate this, they give me some error. So that's why I don't wanna use this card but if you can, I recommend it to um, migrate all this stuff because it's a lot better than I have. <laughs> so if you can for whatever reason too, so that's fine if you use this. They're gonna say the same from this tutorial. So let's start creating this. So we can uh, go to the blueprint, so we can put this car already here. It's already working for us, but I want to all the car because all this car they have the same parent, so that's perfect. So if we go to the blueprint and go right here, uh, parent class, they're gonna say the in here, the find parent. So we have this um, main um, blueprint. So let's open this, let's close the other one. So now we have with this already parent. They have another parent, but that's for C++. So if you want to modify something, you need to go to, to Virtual Studio. I don't wanna do that in the tutorial, but we have everything we need. They wanna set that the color, everything like that. We can change this too later. But for now, we but for now we have the more important stuff. They already have the mapping cars. They have the steering wheel already working. So uh, handbrake, brake, throttle, uh, look is not connected, but we can change this later. Uh, look delta and thing like that. So that is really really good. We have almost everything we need. And like I said, they have the colors and they can they switch the color depending on uh, what they want. They have some random stuff. We can change this later. But for now, they're going to be okay. So let's close this. And we have this. So let's start working with this. So I want to enter in all the cards from the same place. So I don't want to do like the I do in the last and the other tutorial. They use, use one box because I want to have two different animations, one from open this side and one to open the other side. Right now, well, like I said, I don't have the animation, but we want to create this system. So let's go to here. Uh, I want to go to the mesh because I want to be attached to this mesh. So they're gonna be the mesh, go to add, and let's put some box collision. You can use a box collision or a fuse collision. They're gonna be exactly the same, but for me, I like more working with box. But if you like sphere collision, they're gonna be absolutely fine. So let's put some box collision. And here I wanna put, uh, for example, enter and left, for example. So let's move to the left. So let's put in here. And probably need to be a little more big. So let's do it like that. And also, why they move? Ah, it's okay. Let's put like this. 
yeah something like that so now we, we, I, we can open from the side so let's create another for the other side so let's we can duplicate this that's more easy and let's change the L for R so it's gonna be the right so this one let's move this to the other side it's already the same side and thing like that so we have to open places for this car we also want to from later we have more um, pliers they want to go inside we can put more here but for now they're gonna be fine so and also we can create another one for open the trunk and things like that but for now they're gonna be open or used from here so that is the main and that's it we have all this stuff so let's test this first so let's go to right so let's go to right click Go to add event, you go to on component begin overlap. We go this, you already create this one for us. So in here, we need to, from all the actor, we need to cast our player. So cast to DP character. We already have this because I only have, I only want to this character the um, open the card. So <laughs> let's do this. And from here, well, to check, for testing purposes, like I said, let's go here. They're gonna be print, so they're gonna be print string or print text, baby. I'm gonna say hello, that's perfect for me. So, compound save. I'm only gonna be the, making the right because the left right now, like I said, I don't have the animation. So, so working one, they're gonna be exactly the same. So, use copy paste to the L, but for now, we're gonna leave it like that. So, let's put some cards to see if it's working or not. So, we want to check our. This one, that if you see, they're gonna be the already box there. So also we can put this guy here. It's to SUV and a band probably. So let's do that. So well, not like client. Let's play like normal game. So let's put one here. Wow. Okay. So put here one. Why they complicate everything? Okay. Next mode. Plain single by okay. Let's go this. Okay, so let's do this more bigger. So I don't know why they change all this stuff. So let's go 1000, 1000. I always send it. Okay, you don't need to do that for this. Uh, I only for me, but I can see it better. So I go play now. We have better view. So if you go here, they want to print, they don't print nothing. Okay. Okay, so something's wrong. So let's check. Okay, why they don't? Because I'm doing the right. That is true. <laughs> okay, I do the opposite. Oops, my my bad. So let's do this way. So now they're gonna be hello. There you go. So let hello and uh, hello. So that was my fault. So <laughs> okay, but that's working. So let's do the left now. So let's add the main and begin overlap. They're gonna be this. We want to do both, so let's copy again and paste. Doing here, connect this with this, this with this, and that's it. So buy on safe. Now they're gonna say the same in both again. So hello. Hello. Uh, maybe it's no. Okay. Hello. And uh, hello. 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 Oh, so that's working. You go out because n overlaps. I do everything wrong today. Okay. Add event and begin overlap. Ay, ay, ay. So let's do this. Okay, begin, begin, so compare. Wow, so okay, so now hello and the one hello. Now it's working perfectly fine. And they go to the other side, they wanna be hello and hello. So that's working. Okay, so let's do this better. So let's go to when they go inside. I want to possess the car, like so you know the other one. Uh, I want to create um, an interface, but I'm gonna do it in probably another tutorial because this is gonna be already too long. 
So for now, we're gonna leave it like that. So in begin overlap, we want to disconnect this. And from here, I want to posit the card. So we need to uh, right click, it said get um, player controller. Because it's the controller that control the uh, pose, uh, possess of the uh, another persons and characters. So from here, they're gonna be possess. Uh, we can connect this here and another one to here. So connect this in this with this. I don't know if we already need to put self. Let me, let's check. If you know, we need to put self. Because I don't know if it didn't recognize, recognize already the pawn is already this blueprint. So let's find out. So let's go here. They don't work. So that means we need self. So go here. It pulls self. So let's connect these two together because it's the same. So now, if you go play, now they possess the card. But if you notice, we can't move at all. We can move the we can move the camera. We can uh, uh, press a toggle. They don't do nothing. Break. They don't do absolute nothing. And our player they working weird <laughs> doing like that. So we need to fix all this stuff. So first we want to the car working perfectly fine. So we want to go to edit and go to project settings. And one of the stuff we enabled through the plugin plugin that was the input because we want one here for default class. So default player input class we need to change the player input to enchanted player input. And the other one, default input uh, component class, we need to change this to uh, enchanted input component. So now, if we close this, let's save everything so we don't lose nothing. So if I go play, now if I possess the card, now they're working perfectly fine. So now we can accelerate, a break. Uh, let's do it for the gamepad because I don't like to use the. There you go. So now we can uh, accelerate. Can see my camera is not working with the uh, thumb, so we need to fix that later. So for now, now it's working. Uh, accelerating, braking, and also hand braking. Probably yes, they're working hand braking. So that is absolutely fine. So that is working good. So let's check the other car. So let's play. Let's go to this one. And now they're working fine. Like I said, I don't know why they don't uh, work in the camera, so we need to check this later. So now they're working with my gamepad. Acceleration, braking, we don't have lights at all. And we can handbrake it probably. Let's check. Okay, so they're working perfectly fine. So that's it. Just we have our first step from this uh, car setup. So this is really more easy than the other the other tutorial already made, but we want to update this to better and better. So now we have the first step. So let's uh, finish this um, video for now. So thank you for watching and see you in the next uh, video. So thank you. Uh, see you in the next video. So bye bye.